Hey everyone, in the news this week, 18 people died at a gas explosion at a hotel in Havana, Cuba. It's unclear if the owner had fiddled with the meter. Get it? The governor of the British Virgin Islands has had to step down following address for drug smuggling, and in an unrelated story, Prince Andrew said he'd like to get back to work. Well, he's maybe unclear what the job entails, being governor of the British Virgin Islands. Also, the local election results in the UK. The Prime Minister started the week more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs, but the results turned out to be nowhere near as bad as some had predicted, which is unsurprising really given that those pollsters also predicted a second referendum, Donald Trump being impeached, and a landslide majority by the Labour Party at the last general election. Albeit to their credit, Labour are really pulling ahead now in the race to achieve the most number of police investigations. The other story this week was from America, where a leak came from the US Supreme Court suggesting that they might be ready to re-evaluate the Roe v Wade decision. This is the court case that effectively bans anti-abortion laws in the States. It's an especially strange setup in the UK abortion was formally legalised in 1967, but in America they never passed a law either way in the subject, instead relying on the court's interpretation of privacy laws and doctor-patient confidentiality to prevent proposed laws from being enforceable either way, very much a case of political will versus political won't. Even the famously liberal Judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg said that the situation was a complete mess that should have been fixed by the Congress and Senate passing a law on the subject to solidify the situation or possibly passing a constitutional amendment. Instead, we've had 50 years of political inaction. Aside, of course, from the 1980s when President Biden, who was then a senator, campaigned to ban abortion. That's something he seems to be keeping quiet about these days, along with his son's tax return and whether he knows what day of the week it is. As I said, the situation is a political mess, but that's how the system works, I guess. It's as American as apple pie. Or possibly a better expression would be as American as Apple Incorporated, given that Silicon Valley has suddenly decided that, unlike this time last week, the word female is a thing, the term is mother rather than people who menstruate, and that people, not the federal government, should be getting the final say in their bodies and medical choices. Hmm, isn't it strange how the facts suddenly change when powerful people realise they made a terrible mistake? Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.